students. Today we're going to learn another grammar spot in English language. Asking questions in English is so important for conversation and in this lesson we're going to learn how to use question talks correctly. Question talks are short questions that are put or tacked onto the end of statements or regular sentences so that they become questions. He's from Italy, isn't he? You are thirsty, aren't you? They can speak Italian, can't they? Question talks are mostly used in spoken English. There are lots of different types of question talks, but the rules are kind of simple to learn. There are a, a couple of exceptions, but they are generally clear and simple. So what are question talks? They are just questions, but they are used in a different structure to regular questions. We use them in speech to confirm something or to find out if something is true or not. Let's take a look at this regular question. Is Amanda an artist? And the sentence on the or the statement would be Amanda is an artist. And the question tag is Amanda is an artist, isn't she? Simple as that. So how to use and how they are formed? Let's find out. Simple. Just take a statement. You are coming to the concert. And then just add a question tag. Aren't you? You are coming to the concert, aren't you? So what we have in this case? You is a subject, are an auxiliary verb and come in as a main verb in our statement. And in our question tag we also have an auxiliary verb, the negative not and the personal pronoun which matches the subject in the statement. So you see that the subject matches the pronoun and the auxiliary verbs need to be the same. In this example the statement is positive and the question tag is negative. So if we change the statement to a negative Watch what happens to a question talk. You aren't coming to the concert, are you? So we have the subject, the auxiliary verb plus negative not, and the main verb. And the question talk is formed with an auxiliary verb and the personal pronoun. It is clear and you can see that the statement and the question talk need to be opposites. If the statement is positive, then the question talk is negative. And if the statement is negative, then the question talk is positive. So pay attention to the statement. You need to know if it's positive or negative in order to make your question talk correctly. Let's have a look at the intonation. When we are sure of the answer, the voice goes down in the question talk. You haven't been to Canada, have you? Or when we are not sure of the answer and want to check for the information or confirm the information, then the voice goes up in the question talk. They didn't go to the party, did they? Let's have a look with models in the question talks. 
If a statement has a modal verb like will, should, or can, then it follows the same rule. Will is positive in the statement and will is negative in the question top. You will wash your face, won't you? You shouldn't be doing that, should you? There are a couple of more rules to remember when you are using question talks with do or be. These verbs especially used as main verbs. In positive sentences, we often leave do out. It is not common to say, I do like pasta. Instead, we say, I like pasta. And if we want to add a question talk to it, then it would be, I like pasta, don't I? Let's look at the verb be. For example, I am going to the concert tonight. It wouldn't be nice if we say, I'm going to the concert tonight. Am not I? Or something like that. It doesn't really make sense. So in this case, the question tag would be, aren't I? Let's go next to the tenses and question tag. When the verb of the statement is in the present tense, we use do, does, don't or doesn't in the question tag. In this case, the verb works is in present tense third person singular amanda works as a teacher then the question tag would be doesn't she or when the verb of the statement is in the past simple we use did or didn't you lost your luggage didn't you so, it wouldn't be nice if we say, you did lose your luggage, didn't you? So, let's have a look at how some verbs or expressions form question talks differently. For example, in the imperative form, the order, be quiet, the question talk would be in this case, will you? Or, don't shout, will you? Let's, in the question talk, become shall. Let's eat something, shall we? Let's go out tonight, shall we? Let's have a look at some more. The difference between have got as a possession and the main verb or a verb have. You've got two dogs, haven't you? Or the difference between them two is, look at this, they have dinner at 8 o'clock, don't they? This or that in the question talk is, is it or isn't it? That's your friend, isn't it? This isn't your dog, is it? I hope this was useful for you, my dear students. And until next time, bye.